In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to wash your car. By washing your car, I mean how to wash your car properly without inducing any swirl marks into your paint and to keep the paint looking fresh for years to come. As you can see, I've got the list of products behind me, which I'll describe in a second. If it's your first time on the channel, very welcome guys. My name is Etienne and you might want to hit that subscribe button down below to catch our future videos as we release them. Today's video is going to be a bit different. I'm going to wash the car and I'm going to record that for you guys and then I'm going to do a voiceover. It will be my first time doing the voiceover. So I hope it's going to come out fine, but I'm pretty sure it will. So I'm going to do a voiceover at the end to show you guys what I'm doing with every step or explaining what I'm doing with every step as I go along with the washing. As you guys can see, my car is extremely dirty. I haven't washed it. I haven't washed it for about a week just to make sure that I can show you guys a proper video on how to clean your car. So from left to right, in no specific order, we got the products that you are going to need to wash your vehicle. First up, the high pressure washer. I've got the Culture K5 Premium. You can do it without the high pressure washer, but to get a proper clean, I would suggest that you use a high pressure washer. Next up, we've got the two buckets. As you can see there, one is for wash, one is for rinse. You guys will see when I wash the car how to use them. When you wash, once the mud comes off the paint of the car, you'll dunk it in the rinse bucket. And then from there on, you'll go back into the wash bucket, the one with the soap, and then you'll touch the paint again with your wash mitt. They both got grit cards inside of them. So that is an absolute must. I would suggest that you get the grid cards to trap the dirt at the bottom of the buckets. Next up we've got the wash mitt, which is a, a Core Pro wool wash mitt. It's got long fibers, it's extremely soft, very nice wash mitt to use. And then after that we've got the drying towel. I actually prefer a towel that looks like a microfiber towel with long fibers that absorbs that absorbs the water and if there's any dirt in there or any dirt left on the paint this will definitely grab the dirt and stuck it deep inside so you don't drag it around on the surface it'll actually absorb it after that we've got the small blower you guys would have seen me use it in previous videos as well I use it to dry the wheels I would dry the mirrors I would dry basically all the creases on the vehicle Make sure that I get all the water out so that when you drive the car afterwards there's no water sling or no water dripping from the car. After that we've got some distilled water. I use that before I touch the paint with the drying towel. I would mist the drying towel with the distilled water just to make sure that there is some lubrication on the on the drying towel and obviously you want to start by drying the windows and after the windows will get onto the paint. The next product is the Gion Bathe. That's the soap that I use to wash the car. It's not the cheapest, but it's extremely good. And you get about 200 buckets out of a one liter like that. So you use very little. And then lastly, we got our foam cannon. And the foam that I use is TAC Ultra System Foam with a ratio of one to eight. So that means 100 mL foam with 800 mL of water. I feel like I've done enough talking and explaining for now. I'm going to cue the music and get it started. If you want to see how I clean the wheels step by step, I left the video linked in the right hand corner up above. Pre-rinsing is a crucial step. The idea here is to get the top layer of dust off the surface before you start foaming the vehicle. Oh, 
When foaming the vehicle, the idea is to loosen dirt such as box plat on the front, bird dropping or whatever may have got stuck to the surface in between washes. You want to leave the foam to dwell for about 5 minutes on the surface before rinsing off and hopefully the dirt will be rinsed off by a high pressure washer at this stage. Remember to always rinse the paint at a 45 degree angle and never spray directly into the surface with your high pressure washer. I foamed the vehicle twice to aid with lubrication when I touched the paint with my wash mat during the washing stage. When you wash or touch the paint with your wash mat, the idea is to use absolutely no pressure at all, or at least as little as possible when needed. You want to wash from the top down, I would start at the roof followed by the bonnet, front bumper and front fender. After this, I would divide the side into three groups, upper, middle and lower. When you wash the lower section, make sure that your wash mat does not touch the ground, especially on lowered vehicles. When your wash mat comes off the paint, you dip it into the rinse bucket that has clean water in it and any dirt picked up from the paint by your wash mat will be left in the rinse bucket. After this, you dip your wash mat in the wash bucket with soapy water and then back onto the paint. Remember, no pressure at all on the paint, let your wash mat and soap do the work for you. I prefer to leave the boot section for last since this is 9 out of 10 times the dirtiest section on the vehicle and instead of using pressure to clean it up, I prefer to wash this section twice as you see me do now. Next up we'll rinse the paint, pretty self explanatory, remember the 45 degree angle. Since I'm working in the sun, I will move the car into the garage after the rinse procedure. Like I mentioned earlier, I use a small handheld leaf blower to dry my wheels and all the creases and rubbers as well as getting the bulk of the water off the surface. After this, I will mist my drying towel with distilled water and dry all the glass first before moving over to the paint. If at any time the towel feels grabby on the surface, mist it again with water to ensure that it lights over the surface. The idea again is to use no pressure whatsoever and to touch the paint as little as possible. Remember, any contact is bad contact. The final step would be to grab a different drying towel and to clean the door jams as well as the wheels. You also want to mist this towel before touching any part of the vehicle. So that is it guys, that's the steps I recommend you guys follow when you want to wash your car without inducing swirl marks or any damage. 
I believe I explained everything pretty good to you guys but if there's anything that you are unsure about make sure to drop a comment down below as well as all the products that I use will be linked in the description down below you guys can can go and cop them there um, so if there's any questions drop a comment if you guys like the video give the video a thumbs up if you guys got any value out of this video I ask that you share it with at least one friend um, please guys let's help and grow the channel I would really appreciate the support and that's gonna be it for today's video I'll see you guys in the next one peace out and reflect your passion.